Ever since its meteoric rise began in the 1980s, China has built an image of a formidable nation with a perennially booming economy and a powerful military. Central to this carefully cultivated image was the ability of the Chinese Communist Party to control the people and media of China and effectively deal with any internal crisis. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has dealt a severe blow to this larger than life image of the CCP and China as a nation. From suppressing data on the number of cases to botching up its zero covid strategy, Beijing has been at the center of it all. And now, when the world has gone back to normalcy, China is still struggling with an astronomical rise in infections. Hospitals have been flooded all over again and around a million deaths have been predicted. So what is the new variant all about? How did China try to control the pandemic previously? And is the CCP's rule and China's dominant position in the global economy in jeopardy? Hello and welcome. This is Shubham Chauhan and you're watching First Post. As the world recovers from the onslaught of COVID, China is now being afflicted by a dangerous variant of Omicron known as Omicron BF7. Although official record peg Monday is tally at 4666 fresh cases, on-ground reality paints a different picture. According to Chinese medical experts, Compared to the BA1, BA2 and BA5 variants detected previously, Omicron BF7 has more immune escape capability, a shorter incubation period and a faster transmission rate. If initial predictions are to be believed, up to a million people in China could die from COVID-19 over the next few months. In fact, a top Chinese health official says he believes China is experiencing the first of the three expected waves of COVID infections this winter. Epidemiologist Wu Zunyu said he believes the current spike in infections would run until mid-January, while the second wave would then be triggered by mass travel in January around the week-long Lunar New Year celebrations which begin on 21st of January. Usually, millions of people travel at this time to spend the holiday with their family. Dr. Wu also said that the third surge in cases would run from late February to mid-March as people return to work after the holiday. So what sets this variant apart from the others? You see, the basic reproduction number or R0 for the Delta variant is around 5 to 6 and that of Omicron BF7 has exceeded 10. Basically, the stronger the transmission capacity of the infectious disease is, the faster the number of infected person increases. The R0 of the Omicron BF7 in Beijing can infect anywhere between 10 to 19 people at once. Which brings us to the question, how did China manage the virus earlier? which reportedly originated in its own territory. For around two years, the Xi Jinping-led government tried to control the pandemic by forcibly locking up large sections of the Chinese population inside their homes. Apartments and neighborhoods were sealed off, with officials even welding in the doors of many homes to prevent residents from leaving. While the world struck an optimum balance between planned lockdowns and herd immunity, China's focus was on bringing down the cases through the most stringent measures possible. Through its zero-COVID policy, China tried to give the impression that it had managed to deal with the problem by preventing a big rise in the number of infections. But here's where it went wrong. One of the actual outcomes of the zero COVID policy was that it prevented a large section of the Chinese population from developing natural immunity to the virus, unlike other countries. Soon enough, the Chinese government was forced to abandon this policy, mainly due to large-scale protests by irate citizens. And here's where we are at. China is now overwhelmed by a massive deluge of fresh infections. Adding to China's woes, there is a big question mark over the efficacy of Chinese vaccines. China has refused to rely on foreign vaccines, preferring to rely on homegrown ones instead. However, data suggests that China's CoronaVac and Sinopharm vaccines are not too effective. Studies show that the immunity from two doses of either vaccine wanes rapidly and the protection offered to older people is limited. As COVID cases surge in major Chinese cities, residents still demonstrate vaccine hesitancy, saying they would rather face the virus than the potential side effects of the vaccine. The hesitancy seems to be more prevalent among the older groups as government data shows the percentage of bolstered adults is 57.9% and drops to 42.3% for people aged 80 and above. Studies have also found that the number of deaths could be reduced by giving most of the population a fourth vaccine dose, combined with a high level of adherence to masking and reimposition of temporary restrictions on social interactions when death rates surge. So here's where China stands currently. 
from tall claims of zero cases to now crematoriums running full the covid wave in china has come a full circle worryingly the upward tick in cases is expected to continue further what do you think of the covid situation in china currently do let us know in the comments